Alright, what's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough right here. Oh, goddamn. That was ugly. Alright, let's try this again. Right here. What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Armor series, Shield version. Okay, I got that right. That was a lot of S's. Had to bug me a little. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to be going through another situation, you know, another mission and all that stuff. Because, yes, this island is nothing but missions. They should call it, call it the Island of Missions. Oh, yeah, and in the last episode, too, we evolved our Cup Fu into Urshifu, the Dark-type version. And now we actually have to go back into the dojo because, well, somebody is waiting for us. And, well, you guys already know. Yeah. Okay. Him. Oh. oh my god. <sighs> if there was any rival, if there was anybody that I hate the most as a rival, it's this guy. Why? Because he always seems to be, I don't know, he always seems to be in my business. Good gravy. Anywho, oh hey, welcome back, Draven. Looks like you've been hard at work uh, keeping up your training in the dojo, eh? Yeah, yeah, what are you doing here? Seriously? Ah, uh, surprise! Hey, nicely done, Draven. Uh, that's just the reaction I was hoping for. I'm here on the Isle of Armor to research some more, uh, some more about Dynamax Phenomena. So I hear you two are friends! How delightful! Yeah, friends is a pretty strong word. It's very, very strong. Trust me. I see him more as a gnat. Like, I don't know. He's like a disease that just doesn't go away. I can go on, but I'm not gonna go to. Okay, so let's see. Hoppikins, here just saying my permit, or here asking for my permission to camp out in the Isle of Armor. But where's the fun in mucking about in the mud? I was telling them that you should stay here at the dojo. I mean, it'd be loads of easier camping out for a long while, but wouldn't I be in the way? Everyone's welcome, or everybody's welcome to wear out their welcome at the de Master Dungeon. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we're practically family already. You're a little brother of our, Le uh, our, our Leon, after all. Yeah, it's true. Lee did train you when we were both kids. Hmm. All right then, Master Mustard. You've twisted my arm. I hope you don't regret it because I'm staying. Whew. The more the merrier. I'm pleased as a punch in a uh, gold-plated uh, punch bowl. That really doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Which reminds me, Draven. I've got something I've uh, been meaning to tell you about Kofu, or really its evolution Urshifu. The truth is uh, the lovable rascal is capable of gigantic maxing too, but it's a bit tricky because it really can't stand the taste of max mushrooms. So max soup is off the menu unless you can make it more appealing to it. There is a certain something you can uh, find here on the Isle of Armor, though that'll be that'll make it uh, Urshifu gobble up a bowl of max soup. And that certain something is? That certain something I is that certain something. It's actually the suspense here is killing me. God damn! <laughs> actually, I've forgotten what it is. Oopsie Daisy. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> You're even more fun to tease than uh, your brother ever was. The certain something I'm thinking of. Is, I'm sure. Uh, or I'm thinking of is sure to make the max suit more palat or palat uh, palatable to Urshifu. And it has something to do with another Pokemon. Now, I think it'll get let you two figure it out just uh, what it is. Give it a good think together. You're on your own, kiddos. The world is your cloister, and get so get cracking. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Is this uh, how your training usually goes? I've really got no Rapidash in the race, but even I'm pretty curious about that certain something. I think I read some uh, something about Urshifu in a book once. It's the Wushu Pokemon, right? The book said that it lives in the mountains in some far-off region. Uh, does it really? Yes. Huh, you didn't know? Don't you have one, Draven? But yeah, I think I read that Urshifu is absolutely mad for some kind of sticky honey. Draven! Honey is made from the nectar of flowers and the plants, right? So maybe we need nectar made from some Pokemon that look like flowers and plants. And if we're looking for those kinds of uh, Pokemon, then I'd reckon there might be a lot in the forest. 
I'll be able to look into Dynamaxing along the way, so count on me for uh, in, uh, in for some exploration. There's a forest past the big marshland, right? Bet I can beat you there. I'm pretty sure you can if you get a head start from me. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. Anywho. Okay, so I guess we have to go into a forest somewhere because, uh, yeah. We have to go into a forest somewhere. Because, uh, yeah, we need nectar for our, you know, our, our Urshifu. Now, the, the forest is pretty close by right here, so let's go right ahead and just speed on over there. Now... I may have mentioned this in my, my my sword version and all that stuff, guys. Yes, I did play an extra version of Pokemon Shield just to get more of a lay of the land right here. Uh, especially with the Diglets that, you know, I couldn't find. And that's how I got got to understand this game just a little bit more. Now, I am in the... I am in the... Like, I am beginning the whole uh, Crown Tundra si uh, situation. So, eventually, we will get to that, that, that portion of the, the game right here now. Here we have, boom, the forest of, uh, or the maze forest or something like that. I don't even know. Finally driven, I've been waiting forever for you. I thought Glimwood Tangle was a real maze, but this place is an entirely different level. It's so hot and humid and I'm sweating a pond over here. Sonya and I split up places to survey and she opted out for the cold snow and all. Too bad uh, we can't somehow divide this heat up between us too. We'd be, uh, we'd both feel a bit better. Anyway, I was checking out the forest of Focus, place where I was waiting for you to show up, and I saw signs of Lilligan and Applin live here. Maybe we have to gather a bit of sweet, a sweet nectar that Urshifu should love uh, from their flowers and fruit. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's go. Let's go ahead and find these Pokemon. And would you look at that? There is a Pokemon waiting for us right there, and that looks like a Piddly. Look at that. Aww. Looks like a baby. Kind of is a somewhat of a baby. Look, it's a Petalil. Petalil evolves into Lilligant, which is just the Pokemon we're looking for. Huh. Uh, it looks lost. Hey, doesn't that Petalil look uh, acting a little strange? Looks scared. Looks lost. Looks sad. Yeah, now that you mention it, it's still pretty little. Maybe it's uh, got separated from its parents. Oh damn. Okay, here we go. Here we go, walking over, come here, oh look at that, oh my god. That just grabs at your cajoning strings right there, okay. Whoa! Who, who are you, uh, or who are you gloaming at onto, mate? You really must be lost, you think? I'm not your mom. Oh, oh man, I just misread that, whatever guys, I don't care. And now I'm stuck, okay? You've gotta help us here, Draven. Go find uh, one of Petalil's parents or something, would you? Look for some worried looking Lilligant. I'll wait here for uh, with this little one, and I'm a, I'm afraid I'll step on it or when I if I stop or if I start walking around or something. Yeah, whatever. Again, guys, not really good at reading. It's okay. Some people may critique me on it. Do not care. I really don't. Hell, there was even that comment. Uh, some people legit uh, legit watch a uh, man child watch these games. That's hilarious. That uh, don't uh, that he doesn't know anything about. Well, that's pretty hilarious right there, guys. <laughs> How I deal with those comments, it's very simple. I just ignore them and I block them because, seriously, they're calling me that. Then why are you watching my film? I'm just, I'm just asking, really. Anywho, let's see. Where is that Lilligant? Where is it? Not right there, but it should be right here somewhere. Now, let's see. Not there. It should be across this area right here. And look at that. There is a Lilligant waiting for us. And it is crying out for help or something. And this Lilligant is... Well, let's see what, what we got right here. Let's see. Lily! Have you lost the Petalil? Yes, it has. Lilligant! Okay, so yes, it wants to follow us, so we have to go back to Hop just to make sure this is half, make sure we can actually find its Pokemon. So we're just going to be running. I would, I would be using the bike, but yeah, that's not me right there. Don't know if I could fit two Pokemon in one bike. And, well, let's see. Nice and narrow path. Make sure we don't hit any Pokemon. Look at that, Tangela. I think I've already caught one off screen. There's a Pikachu. We already know we caught quite a few of those Pokemon right there. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, move on ahead. There's a Pikachu. 
And before we do anything, oh yeah, she saw the most awesome Pokemon ever. And let's see what this Pokemon is. It's an Amolga, which obviously it does fly, so it could be on a tree here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Okay. Anywho, let's go right back to Hop because, yes, uh, apparently he's been waiting for us forever right here. Okay. Let's see what we got. Finally, Draven, and you found Lilligant. Oh, look at this. Reunited, and it feels so good. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty, okay. So they, they, they look happy, huh? <laughs> it looks like they're pretty happy to see each other. You got two. What'd you think, Draven? I'd say, or I'd say Lilligan is trying to thank you. Lily. Oh, it, it kind of is. Look at that. Huh. Is this some kind of nectar from your flower, Lilligan? Gantu. Lily. Or Tilly Lily. <laughs> and there goes off the two Pokemon. Look at that. Mom and, 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 and baby. I don't know what it is, but it's... It, look at that. And, and of course, Hop waving. Wait, like a moron. He's like, bye, bye. See you, Pitalil. Le uh, see you, Lilligant. Okay, nice one, Draven. Now we got some Lilligant nectar. Hopefully this nectar is sweet and sticky just like Urshifu likes it. Slurp. Hmm. I definitely wouldn't call it very sticky. It's very watery. I don't think this is the uh, what, we, what you need, mate. But at least we did a good deed anyway. Come on, let's give Applin's nectar a next try. Hmm. Alright, well, we're gonna have to find that Applin somewhere, and, well, this guy, of course, runs away from us. So, let's get in our bike, and, uh, let's go ahead and find this, uh, this Applin right here. As many of you guys already know, we caught ourselves Applin quite a few times. Could evolve into, you know, a pie-based Pokemon, Dragon-type Pokemon, too. Probably one of the most delicious Pokemon there. And, uh, would you look at that? I see an Applin, and Applin is just like, it notices us. It's almost like it, it, it's almost like it knows what we want. Applin's just like, looking around, minding its own business, and he's like, there, there, it's an Applin! Apple way! Oh, and there we go, Roly pulling its way around, and Applin, no, wait! And, uh, just like that... This is rotten. I don't see Applin anywhere. But I'm sure it went rolling off this way. Draven, we've got to find Applin. Huh. Well, it's obvious to me that it could be right here. So, you know, apple, tree, tree, apple, you know, that kind of stuff. And, huh? Something wrong with this berry tree? Eee! And just like that, it hits me right in the head. And Applin is like, I have no rugrats. And it is rolling away, rolling away like that. Okay. Ugh! Ran off, oh, ran off again. Huh? Draven? Uh, is your head feeling a bit moist? That's gotta be Applin's nectar on you. It might have given us a slip, but at least we still got what we came for. But is Applin's nectar sweet enough for Urshifu? Well, like they say, the proof is in the pudding or the Applin. So let's give it a try. And seriously, man, are you slurping on my hair? What the hell, man? That's kind of disgusting right there. Hmm. I don't think you described it, describe it as ex sticky exactly. It's more like juice or something. Lilligan's nectar wasn't it. Applin's ne uh, nectar wasn't it. They weren't really sticky enough to be a sticky honey and nurse who loves. Come to think of it, they aren't really, hu uh, really honey at all, are they? I was thinking nectar and honey were the same thing, so I was looking for plants and flowers, but I was, uh, well, was I barking up the wrong tree? Peed. Oh, look at this, a vanipede's going on, and he's like, whoa, a vanipede! I don't, I don't see uh, one of those every day. It's cute looking, right? But it can produce really thick gooey poison inside its body, making it very, pretty dangerous. Look at that, it's, it's working, his head is working, and just like that, that's it! I was stuck on Pokemon that produce nectar, but what we really need is a Pokemon that uses a sort of nectar to produce something else. Something like honey? Yes. And when it comes to Pokemon that can collect and store lots of nectar to make honey, well, the answer is very obvious, right? Yeah. A beehive Pokemon. 
the Beehive Pokemon has got to be the answer. I'm sure of it this time. And Vespa Queen is the Beehive Pokemon, right, Draven? Have you ever seen one? Yes, I have. I've seen quite a few. I actually have one, I think. I don't know. If we're talking about the Isle of Armor, I think there's. Uh, I think we should find some kind of uh, some of the or some on the island shaped like a honeycomb over near the big blue tower. Now that we know where we're going off, I'm off or where we're going. I'm off. Don't make me wait, Draven. Okay. All right. This should be easy, I guess. I don't know. Probably. Okay. So it's it's obvious that we have to go into the honeycomb island now. I I don't think I've ever shown it right here onto this uh, or onto this current walk right here. I have gone into the honeycomb island quite a few times just to capture or not to capture, but to try and locate these uh, these. 151 diglets that were all around. Trust me, guys, it's a pretty nice place to actually go about. And luckily for us, we are very close to the Tower of Water, so it shouldn't be no problem at all. Right across from the Tower of Water, you'll actually find uh, the Honeycomb Island. So let's go right ahead and just stay away from this Barracuda or Barracuda or whatever it's called. It's raining, it's boring, the old man is snoring. And uh, look at that. Okay. Look at that. And right in front of us is Honeycomb Island. So that's exactly where we're going to find our good old buddy uh, Vespa Queen. And before we, do, before we do that, let's go right ahead and recharge because, yes, there we go. Yeah, there are still Sharpedo around this area. We don't want to get attacked by any of these guys, including uh, the Gyarados right up front. Look at that guy. Tentacools. Look at that. And here comes a Sharpedo in all its glory. Come at me, bro. Come at me. There we go. It won't attack us. Come on. And bam, we have defeated the Sharpedo. Oh, there was two. <laughs> wow, I was about to be Sharpedo food. Never mind. Okay, and let's see. She's looking for a Galarian. Oh, Galarian Pokemon Mr. Mime here. Do you have a Galarian Mr. Mime? I am not giving up a Galarian Mr. Mime just yet. But, yes, there are individuals around the island in both sword and shield version where if you trade them a regular pokemon or a regional pokemon they will trade you the different regional pokemon if that made any sense you know guys and well let's see there's a hop right there now we all know what's going to happen right here so let's stay prepared i cannot believe i only had one pokemon on me and speaking of galarian pokemon i got marcel let's go with uh, this guy you know what? I do have a better team right here in, sh in Shield version than I have in uh, <laughs> than I have in uh, what was it called in uh, in Sword version. It's probably a good reason why I played these games. And uh, well, let's go ahead and bring this guy in just in case. And let's see. Let's go ahead and put Krakatoa in the beginning because it does have a distinct advantage over these Pokemon. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. There you are, Draven. Glad you can finally make it. Hmm. I've seen loads of Combi around, but no sign of a Vespa Queen so far. But they're they're the ones that that have sticky honey. Hmm. What's that? Huh. I borrowed the power spot detector from Sonia, but why is it going off now? You don't say. The tree. Is it reacting to this tree here? Something's got to be up, Draven. I think we sh uh, we should check it out. We or me, because I kind of feel like it was me. And wow, Gregato is pretty big. So now we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be shaking this tree right here. And look at this guy. Look at this. Okay, so how we got the strength to shake this thing is beyond me. But yes, I am that strong, guys. And just like that, that is the nastiest sound ever. Holy crud! And the tree is turning Super Saiyan. And, yeah, holy crud. Okay, somebody's coming after us. And, oh my god. Whatever is, whatever is that came from that tree is into, sucked us into the Pokemon den. Okay, so, let's go right ahead and uh, take on our, our, our opponent right here. And it is a Gigantum, or a, Di a Dynamax Vespa Queen. If you see in my sword version, this Pokemon kind of kicked my butt a little, but I think I'm a little more equipped right here to take on this Vespa Queen. So, let's go ahead and uh, turn on our communicators and uh, 
get this thing to uh, really go off uh, off on it. So let's go. Let's uh, morph this Digiball. Let's get it. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. And there we go. Krakatoa has Digivolved into its maximum form right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. This Vespa Queen is going to go with a max knuckle, and god dang it. Yeah, I should have known. Holy crap, man. Okay. So here we go. Max Flare for the attack. And, uh, you know what? It is a bug and flying type Pokemon. I do have rock type and attack it could be a quadruple damage i'm not using my head right now so let's go straight for the max rock fall all right vespa queen you little asshole and here comes defend order do not know what that is and this one will raise up its defenses so here comes the max rock fall this will squash this little bug right here and bam takes almost all of its uh its hp right here and because of that it changes the, the field again with a sandstorm, so this one will actually help us just a tad bit more. And here comes a max knuckle attack, and oh gravy, that right there just really hurt us. So yeah, we're looking at one more attack, hopefully, I don't know, but here comes the max rock fall for the win. And oh my god, nearly defeated Vista Queen. And damn it, okay, so... It kind of sucks that we only get three turns out of a... Uh, yeah. So let's go straight for a flame charge. Hopefully this will actually... Damn it! Hit us, and there goes Krakatoa. This... Okay, so I think we won. Uh, there, there's a sandstorm. Nearly beats him. Okay. Screw it. Let's go with Deadshot. It's a must. Use that pistol attack that it has right there. All right, Deadshot. Snipe shot attack for the win. Bam! Pew pew! And there goes. And that is how the cookie crumbles. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And no, we can't capture this guy. So, what ends up happening right here is the aftershock of the battle caused Strange Comb to fall, uh, fall out from above. And there we have the Max Honey, guys. Now, this, this item right here is the honey that Dynamax Vespa Queen produces. Adding this honey to the Max Soup makes the taste very smooth. It also has the same effect as the Max Revive. And Hop right here being, you know, the scaredy cat that he is. He's like, I sure wasn't expecting a Dynamax Vespi Queen to come swooping out to attack us. I was too shocked to even uh, think to join you in a battle. Oh, God. This is certainly, or this is some seriously thicky, uh, or sticky honey. I'm sure it's the certain something that Urshifu loves. And it seems like the honey was, uh, let's see. It, she, it, it seems like the honey was setting off my power spot detector too. Max mushrooms and the honey you can uh, find here are the island armor. They both seem to have some kind of tie to the Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. There's a tons that we don't know uh, that we don't yet know about, so there's tons of research that's waiting to be done. Come on, you got the thing that we're looking for, so let's head on back to the do dojo at once. All right. Okay, so luckily for us. Again, we can fly back easily, and hopefully we can we can hit the pinpoint right here. Let's see. Come on, there we go to the dojo. Suck it. Okay, alrighty. Okay. Um, you know what? We don't need to do anything yet. Uh, actually, let's bring out Urshifu because I think Urshifu needs to see this himself. So let's go right ahead into the dojo and see what the commotion is all about so after getting the specific certain something here we have master mustard himself he's like welcome back my wondering wulu oh and what is this sweet set i detect wafting through the air around you <laughs> that'd be max honey the urshifu loves the max honey or max we got our hands on a nice haul of it did you now already you put me in Draven on, hey, old man. There's something. There's nothing uh, the two of us can't uh, can't do together. <laughs> you did a real bang up job finding the Max Honey with hardly a hint from me. Very nicely done, Draven, and a little hop too. You didn't uh, forget about uh, for a second what the certain something was, did you? He starts laughing, and well, 
Here comes with one of the students. If we add Max Honey to our Max Soup, even Urshifu will be sure to want to sift. Urshifu, oh wow. Well, it's been real driven, but I think you learned just about everything the Master Dojo has to teach you. Which means that you and I can finally have a proper battle with absolutely no holding back. I could use a bit of training if I'm going to be ready for what's to come after all. I won't be pulling any punches uh, this time, kiddo. If you think you're really uh, you're ready for for me when I'm uh, serious, then come to the battle court out back. Okay, all right, all right. So he's ready to go, ready to kick some butt, take some names. Me, I am ready. But we're gonna have to wait for that one in the next episode. So, battling master when he's serious, that's seriously terrifying. He's the he's the one that taught me. The, that taught Lee all he knows, so Master's got to be one wicked strong trainer. Of course he is. Steal your spirit for serious battle driven. I guess I'd better start uh, getting serious about the research I came here to do. Good luck with your things, Draven. I'm sure you'll manage it like always to do. I'll come dashing right back to catch the battle, though if you uh, if you do try taking on the Master Mustard. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so... In the next episode, guys, we will be finishing it off by battling Master Mustard and, you know, doing a few things here and there just for the preparation going into this battle. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.